Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tommy Cam Field where we have several of our future Hornets along with our starting Hornets standing out on the field. And uh, looks like Coach has brought his complete team with him tonight at Hancock County and, Dave, and Senior High. The Hancock County Hornets will be sponsoring or hosting the game tonight against Owensboro Senior. We're going to give a short break here a second, but I just wanted you to take a look and see at the future, and it looks bright for Hancock County as many kids that are playing in these leagues. Welcome back to Tommy Cam Field tonight. And uh, for your Hornets, their starting lineup will be leading off number five, playing second base, B.P. Roberts. Batting second, our left fielder, Tanner Singleton. Batting third, number 14, our shortstop, Jacob White. Batting fourth, number 24, at third base, J.T. Bell. Batting fifth, at playing first base, number 25, Cameron White. Batting sixth, in center field, number one, Nathan Swahart. Batting seventh, behind the dish, number 22, Tyler Kratzer. And on the bump tonight for the Hornets, batting eight, number 23, Parker Newby. And to finish out our lineup, batting ninth, our right fielder, Wyatt Baker. Folks, I'm going to tell you what, the Hornets come off a big victory the other day against McLean County, uh, closed them out in the bottom of the fifth. Exciting game, and it was senior day. And I just want you to know that... Uh, the, the dreams do come true on the baseball field. Nathan Swahart uh, finished the game with a deep fly ball to left with a runner on third, and he tagged in 10 runs in McLean County. Hopefully we'd like to see the same lineup tonight. Looks like we got a pretty good crew down here. Looks like we got Sean Williams behind the dish, and I believe that's Marty Teasley we've got on the bases, so an experienced crew. Um... As they go over the ground rules, of course, Sean being one of the most experienced umpires we have in our region, uh, explaining, I'm sure, that he wants to keep it clean, keep sportsmanship, and uh, I believe these teams have played here enough. They know exactly where the dead areas are. But anyway, just wanted to let you know we, we've got an excellent crew with us tonight and the Hornets like I said coming off a big win on Saturday against McLean County actually put it all together uh, air's about as thin tonight as it was Saturday so uh, look for the ball to carry we uh, we noticed that big time Saturday air was real thin it carried well but uh, every kid on the team last Saturday contributed and we look forward to that same situation to happen tonight um, as they warm up a little bit more we'll take a little break and this is Rob McCormick with Third Region Sports Network and we'll be right back
Welcome back to Tommy County Field where Mr. Parker Newby's warming up on the hill. Uh, Parker threw a couple innings the other day against Grayson County and they say he did a really nice job. I imagine they'll have him on short pitch count um, tonight. Maybe a good pin to bring him back. But uh, number 22, Kratzer behind the plate. Looks like we're going to play a varsity and JV both game because the JV is here dressed out. Um, good night for baseball. Weather's finally up in the 80s. Ought to get good and lathered. Uh, Mr. Newby last year had some really nice games, and he's been out a few weeks. Like I said, he threw a couple innings at Grayson County. But... Uh, Strong lefty, ball moves a lot. So, uh, anyway, at the plate now for senior high is Isaac Humphrey. Isaac's been around a while. Still a young senior high team, but they, uh, I think they're young with juniors, not senior or not sophomores this year. So we're looking for a great matchup. So as Mr. Newby gets ready to deliver the first pitch to the lefty at the plate, throws one down. One ball, no strikes, top of the first. Got a great crowd here, and it looks like the kids and their parents are staying around to watch some good baseball. So let's hope we give them that show tonight. Newby still throwing a little short. Might take him a little bit to get used to the bump out there again. Um, one thing about Parker, though, he doesn't get shook. I can assure you that. I've been around him for a good while, and not much rattles him. Works that pitch up, 3-0. Might take a batter or two to get back into the groove here. Parker 3-0 right now in his windup. There's a strike. Nice pitch right there. A lot of times I don't understand that. If you got a good hitter at the plate, you know you're going to get a fastball right down the middle most of the time on 0 or 3-0. He draws a walk on five pitches. Parker will be fine, though. I believe he'll settle in here in a second. Betting now is number five, Griffin Hare. Not sure what grade these young men are in. Griffin's on the hill tonight for senior high. See what senior high does here. They're going to play a little small ball. Young man's got a pretty nice lead at first, and Parker throws one over, and pretty nice toss over, really. Uh, just gets under the glove of Cameron White at first base. So with a runner on second, I don't really see senior high uh, buttoning him to third unless they're just going to try to play for one. They may be looking for a crooked number here in the top of the first. Not sure what senior high's record is. Batter to plate calls time. Parker steps off. Umpire grants him his timeout. Parker looks in, takes a sign, delivers a pitch. Ground ball hit. Good effort by J.T. Bell. Single in the 5-6 gap. Um, now with runners on first and third. Coming to the plate, number 15, Blakely McAllister. And uh, your three-hole hitter with runners on first and third. I'm imagine our infield is going to stay back because you got to score to win anyway, so you don't want to give up anything cheap by playing in. So got a walk and a base hit. Runners on first and third. Double play still into effect. I would say you got a little speed at first base. Young man's getting a nice lead. But he doesn't go. But there's a perfect two ball. Scored one run. Got the lead runner into second. Uh, they give McAllister a second. Ball must have gotten to the dugout. 
I think BP thought he didn't have as much time as uh, he, he had a little bit more time. He looked like he had a little trouble getting it out of the glove, but those things happen, so. Up for the Red Devils is number 34, Dull. This man here can hit the ball. I've seen him poke several around, and uh, runner on second, one out, Dull to plate. Uh, newbie fools him there on one down and out, and Doyle takes a hack at it. Doyle's a man you definitely don't want to come in on the inner third with because he'll yank it on you in a heartbeat. And he just got under that ball, and BP Roberts is playing it well. Looks like he's tracking it well. Nice job by BP. Good job by newbie to get the pop out on the infield. If I'm Wyatt Baker, though, if I'm Wyatt Baker, I'm going to get a read on that because Dole's a dead pull hitter, as most lefties are. And uh, it will probably, it'll probably happen tonight. He'll catch some action out there in right, from Dole especially. So at the plate now for senior high is number 25, Belcher. Newbie delivers. Nice pitch. Must have just missed. Of course, he's been a little bit sporadic early, so Sean might have given him that if he'd been all around the zone early in the game. But anyway, one ball, no strikes, two outs, runner on second. Newby tries to throw his hook, and it just hangs up. Two balls, no strikes. Really, in this situation, folks, and I know you're going to think I'm crazy, it might not be bad to give this guy a bag and uh, go to your next guy. And that way you're going to face 7, 8, 9 the next inning. But uh, anyway, no, he hits a slicing shot down the right field line, and it's going to score the run. But Baker does a great job of cutting the ball off and getting it in, holding him to a single. I've seen some of those balls go down that line that have turned into triples because they get by the right fielder. So great job by White Baker there. Now at the plate, number two, Higgs. Another lefty comes to the plate. Senior high seems to be full of uh, lefties. I've seen three at the plate now. Newbie settles in. Looks like this young man's going. Cratcher digs the ball, makes a toss down. Ball gets into center, but I don't believe a young man's even going to think about taking third on that cannon. Ball got about 10, 15 feet out in center field. So it's one ball, no strikes. Runner on second. Higgs at the plate. Two outs. Senior has put two across. Like I said, it may take Newby a little while to get back into the groove after not throwing a whole lot in the last three weeks. Uh, Higgs slashes one down the left field line. Way foul. So one ball, one strike, two outs. Um, senior has put two on the board. Only error we've had for the inning is really a, a throwing error by four. That ball broke in not too bad. It may have been just a little bit high, but I'm not sure. As newbie looks in, two balls, one strike, two outs. Top of the first, folks. Higgs at the plate. Foul ball. Sean all over that. Nice work there. So it evens the count. We've got twos all the way across the board, folks. You don't see that very often. Take a look at the scoreboard, and you've got deuces everywhere. I'd say if I could get a five-card draw and four deuces across and a fifth one be... I don't care what the fifth one would be. Got a little piece of that ball. Newbie throws it in there well. So anyway, we still got deuces all the way across the board. The only place I don't want to see another deuce is in the error column for Hancock County. Then the whole board would be filled with deuces. So Higgs steps back in. Newbie on the hill. Two outs, runner on second. And I believe the runner's moving on the on the pitch. He doesn't 
I mean, JT Bell's giving him 15 feet at third, playing back for just the ball sliced down the line at him. And if, if I'm the runner out there, I might even be able to get third base but with that kind of lead because I didn't see anybody really holding him. And that may be what Cratcher went out and told Mr. Newby, hey, take a look behind you because he's getting 20. I mean, you don't want to make your third out at third base, but uh, now Jacob White moving him back just a little bit. But I'm not sure that, uh, and there's another base hit. Guy goes down and gets it. Baker fields it. Going to hold him to another single, but Senior High just doing their job, poking singles in the gaps. And, uh, you know, that's three runs they've put across. Two of them definitely earned. Um Epperson at the plate now for senior high with the runner on first. Like to see Mr. Newby hold him a little bit closer this time. Not a bad pitch, just miss low. So one ball, no strikes, two outs. Senior high's put three across on three hits. One throw in there on our infield. Hornets may have a little work to do in the bottom of the first. A nice pitch right there on the inner third. Brushed the guy off the plate a little bit. So as Newby settles in, takes a look at his runner, now delivers the plate. Strike two. I think Sean showed him where that zone's going to be now, and and hopefully Parker's going to work it. So one ball, two strikes, two outs. Nice pitch right there. And I tell you what, Cameron White did a nice job of stretching up there. Cratcher did a good job of blocking the ball down. So for a senior high in the top of the first, they scored three runs on three hits. One error left one man on. Folks, we're going to give our sponsors a little recognition. It's Rob McCormick. We'll be back shortly. Folks, Tommy Camp Field on the hill tonight for the Red Devils is number five, Hare. Uh, coming to the plate, leading off for Hancock County will be number five, Brendan Roberts. They call him BP. Then we'll have Tanner Singleton, our starting left fielder, and then our shortstop, Jacob White. The dream come true today for me right now would be the first two get on. Let's let Jacob put one over the Thompson Tire Store sign out there. Or the USW or Jumping Jacks. It doesn't matter to me where it clears at. But anyway, folks, the uh, senior highs put three on the board. Bottom of the first at the plate. Number five, BP Roberts. BP takes a cut to first pitch. No ball is one strike. BP's always been an aggressive guy at the plate. It's hard to get out of that trait. Ball dismissed outside. One ball, one strike.
ball two two one folks if you stay around i think harry carey's going to join us a little later up here in the booth so uh he's going to sing take me out to the ballpark and bp roberts read the third baseman third baseman saw him square to come in but he fouled it or he bunted it foul so it's two balls and two strikes pitcher didn't like that ball so uh he delivered it back to the plate so we got 2-2 two -two on bp he's a lead off senior high up 3-0 he takes one cut it one a little bit up but uh that's all right first time around if you get a hit that's a bonus so at the plate now for our hornets is number 13 singleton been hot with the bat Singleton settles in. Harry delivers. Tanner fouls one straight back. Just missed. A little bit more pop on this ball than what the Hornets saw last Saturday. So it may, I'm not sure what they saw at Grayson County. Um, may take them a little bit to get used to this. Kids curveball is, uh, breaks about 15 foot before the plate. So that ought not be any serious trouble. one he calls strike on the outer third and uh, pretty nice pitch really Tanner being patient sees one down two balls two strikes Tanner's thinking dead red in his head right now and what I like to see about these batters is they're thinking swing 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 and then hold it back we're being a little bit more aggressive at the plate I like how that's helped us so Tanner works count full I would say Harris gonna come right at him and if he's thinking anything but fastball right now I'd say he's wrong and he does throw him a fastball off the plate nice at bat by number 13 Singleton at the plate now for us our shortstop number 14 Jacob White I think Jacob's a junior this year and a lot of potential gotten a lot stronger I talked to coaches the other day about him they said that he is absolutely playing to his potential and uh, they're excited about the way he's stroking the ball so Tanner takes second on pass ball uh, Harris missing down and out I'd like to see Jacob be patient because it's a good velocity for him to to really drive Jacob settles in open stance takes it close and hits one hard up the middle and uh, Tanner froze on the line drive Jacob just got it off the end of the bat had to wait back just a just a half a second longer or not even that long and he hits that ball deep so Anyway, the Hornets in the bottom of the first score no runs on no hits, leave no man on. Folks, we're going to take a break, and uh, we'll get back to you in about one minute. Let our sponsors get a little recognition. Folks, welcome back to Tommy Cam Field, where Newby comes back out on the hill. Uh, like I said, Senior High put three up in the first. Senior High's got a pretty nice hitting ball club. Uh, they swing the bat well. They're not up there looking for a walk. Uh, they're up there to stroke at their leadoff 
definitely uh I think Braxton French is at the plate, if I'm not mistaken. He's batting in the eight, eight hole. Braxton's got a lot of capability at the plate. Puts the ball in play well. I was a little surprised they had him down the eight hole, but uh, I know last year he was batting either lead off or two. So uh, it shows what kind of hitting ball club Senior High has. And this young man's always been able to swing a bat. Of course, his dad could swing it very well also. His mother was a very nice athlete as well. So Braxton settles in. Takes one a little high. 3-0. Doing a good job out of a leadoff in the, in the top of the second. Newby settles in. Goes into his windup and delivers. Throws it up and in and... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it got Sean in the shoulder or in the in the muscle of his right arm, but uh, he's shaking it off. I didn't see him rub it. I can tell you right now that man's not going to rub much. So coming to the plate, number 22, Tucker Hagen, with the runner on first base, and we know French has got speed. Um, Got good wheels, so doesn't have much of a lead right now, but he's inching out. Leaning back towards first. And they squared a bunt, and Cratcher lets the ball get by him back here, folks. Mr. Tyler Scratcher thought that ball was foul. Uh, I couldn't really tell from up here, but uh, evidently it was just a pass ball. And I'm not sure if he called it a strike. It looked like the young man made an attempt to bunt, and he's bunting again, bunting him to third, and Cameron White's going to have to make a big-time play. Young man laid the ball down well. Coach Mosby walking out to the hill to talk to Mr. Newby a second. Takes the ball from him. Of course, he may be at his pitch count there. I'm not sure. So entering the game now for the Hornets will be number 11, Cody Axton, going to third base. Looks like J.T. Bell will be taking the hill. While J.T. warms up, we're going to take a break here, folks, and... Let our third region sports network sponsors get a little action. Welcome back to Tommy Campfield, folks, where J.T. Bell's on the hill now for the Hornets. Red Devils are back to the top of their order. Coming to the play to be number six, uh, Humphreys. Humphrey drew a walk, his first at bat. Lefty. So we've got the same situation here, folks. Uh... No outs, runners on first and third, just like the first inning. Had a shot at a two ball last inning and uh, wasn't able to convert it. But with JT on the hill, JT's going to be all around the plate. Catcher steps out, gives a sign. 
I'd be surprised they're throwing through, but uh, this young man here showed some discipline at the plate his first at bat. JT gets a strike. Senior, one of the only four seniors we have on our ball club. JT starts off no balls, one strike. ball out I believe we let that ball travel a little bit further it may be come into you a little bit pitch up Cratcher jogs back picks it up throws it to JT so senior high is definitely playing for another crooked number here folks and they're in a good situation. Runners on second and third now with no outs and their leadoff up, Humphreys. Two balls, one strike on Humphrey. And he hits one hard up the middle, and it's a shame that that ball come up on Jacob White pretty quick. It must have caught something out there because that ball was playing down, and it, it come up on him, and that's a hard play to make. So... Runners now on first and third with J.T. Bell on the hill. Senior high puts one across. No out still with runners on the corners. And number five, Hare at the plate for senior high. And he hit one in the 5-6 uh, gap a while ago for his first at bat. We're playing double play depth up the middle. I know you find that surprising where Jacob Boyd's at. J.T. Bell does a heck of a job just protecting himself. And uh, we do get the out. Uh, Cameron White picks the ball up uh, on the throw from second. Hits the fence, comes back to him, and gets the guy at second base. So one out. Runner comes across the plate. McAllister at the plate, number 15 for senior high. And uh, Horn's going to have to turn it on here a little bit. we got a pretty good crowd here for him tonight. And, you know, we're getting some ground balls. They are hit pretty well, but we've got to make the plays on those. So runner on third base, one out, no balls, one strike. JT's curveball had him all tied up, so that's no balls, two strikes for Hare. JT settles in, goes in the stretch, throws the hook again, it just stays up. The thing about JT, I promise you, he's still smiling. He does take the game serious, but uh, he doesn't let too many things bother him. Nice pitch right there. He shook he shook catcher off and uh, threw his pitch. So at the plate now, the four hole dull at the plate. He popped out the short or the second is last at bat. If I'm Baker, I'm thinking, hey, I'm gonna get a fly ball into right field right here because um, Dole just missed that last one. JT stays away from him with the curve ball. Lefties like the, the hook, so I'm surprised that he opened him up with that. Dole takes a big hack, swinging hack. Nice pitch down and in. Really lefty's favorite pitch, if you want to know the truth about it. And Dole just swings over it. JT in the wind up, or in the stretch, I'm sorry. Just misses on the outer third. We've got... Uh, Two balls, one strike, two outs, runner on third. Senior high has put two on the board so far this inning. I hope we stop it there. And he just yanks one down the right field line. That Baker does a very nice job of keeping the ball down in front of him, preventing it from going any further than a single. The dog gets an RBI, so senior high has put three up in the top of the second. So at the plate now for senior high, number 25, Belcher. Dull at first. 
he yanked that ball pretty hard down that right field line and Baker did a great job of covering some ground just to knock it off and that pick was closer than what you think folks um, I think we've actually got the camera where we can see first and third tonight but the shadows are coming in on first base Cole takes his secondary ground ball hit to Jacob White Jacob's coming in hard to play it because he knows what kind of speed was at the plate. Ball come up his arm. Hornets appear a little bit flat tonight. At the plate now for senior high Higgs. These young men play a long, or it's a short season, but it's a lot of games they play in a very short span, so... From one day to the next, you don't know exactly what can happen. But uh, Higgs at the plate. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Senior has put three on the board in the top of the second. We need to stop it right here to keep it close. And he goes down and picks one up. And that ball's hit hard, and it's going to score two. Baker does get it in. Going to hold the runner at second, and he does a good job. There's no sense in trying to throw that ball home. So uh, Higgs hits a stand-up double shot down the right field line. Uh, these, these young batters from senior high, they swing good sticks. They're going down and getting balls and, and yanking them, and, So senior high has now put five across in the top of the second. Hornets going to have to figure out a way to scratch back. They've still got plenty of time. Cratcher goes out and has a little talk with JT. I may want to change my strategy here behind the dish as far as I may call them up a little bit up and out instead of down and in because it seems like every kid's going down and, and just ripping the baseball, throwing the barrel at the ball. So JT settles in, runner on second, two outs. JT goes up, a little too far. One ball, no strikes. Two outs, runner on second base. And... Uh, we just need to find an out right here to get out of this inning. Nice pitch right there by JT. I'd almost take a read off of that pitch. So number four at the plate. One ball, one strike, two outs. Senior high scored uh, every run on a hit this inning other than, well, we've had three errors. But anyway, there's a base hit up the middle. Going to score another run. Swahart throwing to the dish, and it does not score the run. He lets he unleashes the cannon and lets it go. Nice job by Swahart. Senior high with runners on first and third now with two outs. And uh, the man that started this inning is back at the plate, number 11, French. And we all know he does have capability of driving the baseball. So, uh, wouldn't surprise me here, to be honest with you, if there's not a straight steal to get this runner to second base. French just gets under it. JT Bell coming in on it. Makes a play. That ball was hit high. Dancing, I'm sure. JT does a good job getting them out of the inning. But Senior High puts five runs across on four hits. Three errors by the Hornets. We're going to take a short break here, folks. This is Rob McCormick, Third Region Sports Network. We're going to recognize our sponsor.
Welcome back, Tommy Camp Field, folks. We're coming to the plate. Our number four batter, number 24, JT Bell. JT's on the hill now for the Hornets. Parker Newby started the ball game. Probably started with the intention of throwing a certain pitch count just to start getting back in the groove. So he got his work in. Senior high up, 8 0. JT Bell hits one in the 6 5 hole. Base hit for JT Bell. So in the bottom of the second, folks, JT leads off with a single. Coming to the plate now for Hancock Kane, number 25, Cameron White, and he can he can walk into one at any time. We've all seen that. I don't believe JT's going anywhere. And I'll tell you what, Cameron White yanks one in the 6-5 hole on the first pitch, and uh, nice job there by White. So Hancock County's got something brewing here. Runners on first and second, no outs. Bottom of the second inning. So coming to the plate now is number one, Swihart, and I watched him unleash the bat against Apollo here a few games ago. I'd like to see him hit a triple right now in that right center gap again. Uh... Swahart shown some power. I mean, he hit some balls hard the last few games. Swahart just misses. Just misses. Had a little bit of hitch in that swing that time. Um, instead of taking the barrel straight to the ball, I noticed he had a little hitch there. So maybe he'll correct that this swing. So Nathan at the plate. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, Nathan Swahart to plate with runs on first and second. No outs. And he hits a ball hard to second base. Second baseman makes an OA and fields it. Gets out at first. But he moves his runners across to second and third. So at the plate now is number 22, Kratzer. And against McLean County the other day, Kratzer's the one that got it started. Uh, senior with a single up the middle. Scored two runs. I'd like to see Kratzer get a hold of one and get a couple runs across. Tyler fouls it back foul. Tyler settles back in. Mariners on second and third. One out. 0-1 oh one on the batter. Curveball stays inside. Catcher tried to bite. But uh, Sean wasn't going to have anything to do with that. So Kratzer at the plate. One ball, one strike. Swings at a... Not sure what that was. That might have been a slurve. I'm not sure. I know it was down and out, and it did start out over the plate, so it, it was moving somewhat. One ball, two strikes, one out. Nice job by Kratzer taking one off a hit. I always like seeing that. So at the plate now, number 11, Cody Axton, came in to third base when uh, Coach Mosby pulled Parker Newby and put JT Bell on the mound from third. So Cody, a sophomore, takes strike one. Not really a pitch you wanted to swing at on the first pitch. Cody, I don't believe seen a whole lot of at bats at the varsity level this year, but very capable of putting the ball in play, and he's gotten a little bigger and stronger. So Cody settles in 0-2 with one out, the base is juice for the Hornets. Outfield's playing awful shallow. Cody stays alive, takes a nice cut. Big gap between second and short on the right side of the field, and that's a good place to put one because you get two runs across, you put one in that gap. Nice eye right there by Cody. One ball, two strikes. Cody looks like he's sinking strike all the way and then holds back at the last second. So bases loaded. Axton at the plate, and he takes strike three. Might not have really been a strike, but it was close enough that 
in that situation might have to put put the bat out at the plate now number four baker and baker's come alive he he's been hot the last three ball games so don't count us out of anything right here baker takes a backdoor curve strike one Baker settles back in, hair out of the windup with bases loaded, two outs. And Baker hits the ball hard, first baseman playing right where he needed to be. So the Hornets start out with uh, runners on first and second, getting out, and then they juice them. And uh, we hit two balls pretty hard that inning, but the second baseman and first baseman from senior high made a nice play. We're going to take a short second break and uh, this is Rob McCormick with your third region sports network we'll be back back to Tommy Cam Field where on the hill for Hancock County's JT Bell the starter was Parker Newby I believe uh, six of the eight runs or no I'm sorry five of the eight runs are charged to Newby three are charged to JT senior highs come up here to swing the bat they're not uh, they're not showing any mercy at the plate there you, you throw one around the knees and they can throw the barrel at it they're going to take a hack We've got number 10 behind the plate. I'm not sure. Uh, must be the JV catcher, Andrew Hagman. He was warming up JT, and now uh, Tyler Kratzer comes out. Take a couple pitches, I believe. I believe JT says, I'm ready. Just take it on down. He does, and Kratzer lets one go. And White receives it at second. So anyway... Senior highs put crooked numbers on the board top top of two innings here, folks. And Hagen at the plate now, number 22 for senior high. And the shadows are coming across the field. So that's another thing the batter's got to deal with is the ball coming out of the shadow into the sunlight. So JT throws it up. One ball, no strikes. In the shadows, it's a good time to play with uh, ball hit down third baseline, and Cody Axton couldn't handle it. Gets up on his arm. So runner on first with no outs, senior high up, 8-0. I've been joined up here by one of my little fellers, Trenton Bozart. He's come up and joined me. I'm not sure where my other guy is. I understand my other guy went to a birthday party, so I've got Trenton here to keep me a little bit of company. Anyway, for senior high, no balls, one strike on the batter. No outs, runner on first. So... Number six fouls it straight back. So no balls, two strikes. JT getting into the into the groove. And I'm not sure that wasn't strike three, but where Cratcher set up outside and he had to come back in and catch it, I, th I think he sort of crossed him up just a hair 
So anyway, one ball, two strikes, 2-2 two -two now on two balls that must have just missed. So runner on first, no outs, 2-2 two -two count on the batter. And he hits the ball on the right side, and, and BP Roberts dives to make a great play, and it gets under him. White Baker comes in, fields it, throw it to second. So, folks, in the top of the third, we've got runners on first and second, and Harry at the plate, the pitcher for senior high. One thing about senior high, I've noticed they haven't struck out much. They, they're they either working the count or putting the ball in play and putting it play pretty well. Big gap over here on the right side for the Hornets, but BP working back now. Ball just down for JT. JT settles back in. He's out of the stretch. Runners on first and second. No outs for senior high with Hare at the plate. JT delivers, and Hare hits it hard. And I'm going to tell you what, folks. <laughs> we go from playing like uh, all-stars on Saturday, and uh, today we're having just a little trouble. We seem to be just a little bit out of focus, possibly. I'm not sure, but uh, at the point now for senior high is number 15, McAllister, the number three hole hitter. Last thing you want, to be honest with you, but we're going to have to face it. Unless we roll two and let the run go, we got the corners in. Uh, you got Dole coming up next, and he's going to wear that right field line out. Anyway, McAllister settles in, and he hits one deep to center, and Bell, or Nathan Swahart goes back, makes a nice read. McAllister did his job, though, hit the deep fly ball. Uh, Nathan Swahart did a good job tracking that ball down. So an RBI for McAllister, and that gives senior high nine runs. So we've got Dull at the plate, and uh, first at bat, he popped up to second. Second at bat, he ripped one down the line for a single that White Baker did a good job of keeping in front of him. But Baker's crowding that line now, and if I'm Nathan Swihart, I'm not sure that I don't move about another five feet to to my left or his left, my right, looking out. Tanner Singleton giving up about 100 feet over here on the left field line, which I believe that's correct, too, because they've got a read. They know Dole's going to yank it. JT throwing out, though, throwing on the outer third. So Tanner might ought to be ready to go to his right. Dull settles in, runners on first and second, one out. Senior High has put one across. And Dull, like I said, just a straight pull hitter, hits one high foul into the stands, and, and they're running everywhere to get away from that ball. So one ball, two strikes, one out. Senior high up 9-0 right now in the top of the third. And hadn't helped a lot. The Hornets have six errors on the board. We did get two hits back-to-back -back at last inning. JT still working out. Two balls, two strikes. I can tell you right now, Dole isn't going to shorten up, I don't believe. I believe he's going to take a hack if JT comes into him. So two's across the board, one out. Delivers a pitch, up and out. Takes a full count, 3-2. So JT's going to have to work back into the zone right here, but you don't want to give in a whole lot to this young man. Uh... You definitely don't want to throw one right down the heart, I don't think. 
JT delivers ball up. Nice discipline, I'll say, uh, though, which uh, a lot of times a big man with that kind of power, he'll try to yank something up around the numbers. So batting now for senior high, number 25, Belcher. Um, bases juiced, one out. Seems like we've had bases loaded every, well, as a matter of fact, I know we've had bases loaded every inning, and Belcher up there to hit the baseball. So no balls, one strike. Belcher at the plate with the bases juiced. Corners are playing in for the play at the plate. To be honest with you, though, uh, Belcher taking a lot of that inner third. That's why that pitch is called a strike. He's standing right on top of the plate. So no balls, two strikes. Belcher at the plate. And he hits a curveball foul. Does a nice job getting the ball down. Just... Uh, Staying alive, so no balls, two strikes, one out. Scores 9-0, senior high. Horner's going to have to wake up out there a little bit. We uh, we seem to be a little lackadaisical today. JT throws down and way out. One ball, two strikes, one out. I'd still like to see with no balls and two strikes, our guys come up and in on batters. 2-2. I mean, to me, that's just part of the game. You know, brush them off the plate and then come back with your curveball. You know, set up the pitch instead of just wasting one two foot off the plate. There's a high infield. That's got to be infield fly, but nobody's calling it. Finally, the plate umpire does. So that's two outs. And uh, senior high still has the bases juice. So if the Hornets can get out of this just giving up one run, it'll be a, a victory in itself. So coming to the plate now is Higgs. And he, uh, he hit one hard down the line his last at bat. White Baker, if I'm not mistaken, this young man hit the double his last at bat. So he's got potential to clear the bases pretty quick. He jumped on one down and in. And it was that same pitch right there that he just missed. He, I think he tipped it back. So no balls, one strike. JT gets out of this inning just giving up one run. He's done a, a good job because you don't do that very often in high school baseball. There's a ball hit deep and Baker back on it. Going back to play it right under it. Nice job pulling it in. Tell you what, though, the young man took the ball deep. So for senior high in the top of the third, they scored one run on no hits, left the bases juiced. Folks, we're going to give our sponsors a little rec recognition. This is Rob McCormick with the Third Region Sports Network. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Tommy Campfield, folks, where the Hornets are down 9-0. They need to get something going here in the bottom of the third, and that's a good spot to do it. We've got our leadoff up, number five, BP Roberts. I'd like to see BP a little more selective at the plate this time. Take a few pitches. And uh, 
I tell you what, the talk of the town right now in Hancock County is the alumni game that was Saturday night, and it was an awesome event. And BP hits the ball hard to first, and the first baseman just uh, made a nice play. That's about all you can say about that. Made a nice play. So, one out, coming to the plate for the Hornets, number 13, Singleton. Singleton drew a walk. And he hits one hard. Third baseman knocks it down. Makes a nice recovery and gets out. Tanner thought the ball was caught. Um, slowed down about 12, 15 feet out of the box. So come to the plate now with nobody on. Uh, Jacob White. And Jacob uh, hit a line drive right off the end. The bat is last at bat. Maybe he'll wait back this time and drive one. Takes ball one. One ball, no strikes. The only problem this time is he doesn't have anybody on base, so this guy can pitch around him if he wants to. But, no, he's going to come at him. Jacob takes a nice cut at one. One ball, one strike. I don't know what Jacob's batting average is, but I know it's high. Um, Jacob gets under one. Center fielder gets a bad read but comes in on it. So for the Hornets, one, two, three. And uh, senior highs do back up in the top of the fourth. So... Uh, We'll be back with you in about one minute, folks. We're going to let our Third Region Sports Network sponsors. So the Hornets down 9-0. Uh, number four to play for senior high. JT Bell on the hill working. So anyway, JT delivers. Eckerson hits one straight to third. Cody Axton comes across, makes a nice play. So one out for the Hornets. I think it might be the first time in the in any inning we've had where the Hornets got the lead off at the plate now for senior high Braxton French family lives here in Owensboro or in Hancock County Braxton nice young ball player nice football player so JT Bell throws ball one He's working out of the wind-up. Two balls just outside. Going to have to bring it back in a little bit. So with the score 9-0, to zero, senior high, we actually got the leadoff man out for the first time in the game. So JT delivers and... French yanks it foul down the right field line. Just tops the ball. JT delivers a pitch. French does go. 
for strike two, two, two on the batter. I think Braxton was getting a read on the curveball there, and JT threw a fastball that stayed up and out. French just swings over it, gets tagged out by the catcher, so that's a K. So we've got two outs. So at the plate now for senior high, number 22, Hagen, with two outs, no runners on. It's glad to be able to finally say that once this game. Hagen takes a pitch up. One ball, no strikes. Ball two up. JT settles in. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Takes a strike right down the middle, Hagen. Two balls, one strike. Scores 9-0, folks. Top of the fourth. Be nice to keep senior high off the board this inning for sure. And Hagen gets under one, and Nathan Swahart's camped out underneath it, so he does a great job. So the Hornets go 1-2-3 for the first time in the game. Nice inning for the Hornets. Folks, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with you very shortly. back folks with hair still on the hill for senior high his pitch counts pretty low really going into the bottom of the fourth so at the plate for hancock county number 24 jt bell he's got a single for the game through the five six hole and the man behind him cameron white also has a single for the game so 24 at the plate he settles in. J.T. Bell, Hare delivers. J.T. takes one down and in. J.T.'s really buffed up this, buffed up this uh, senior year. He hits one hard up the middle. J.T. Bell is now two for two for the night with two singles. Nice job. J.T. goes down, just puts the ball in play. So coming to the plate now, number 25, Cameron White with a runner on first. They're going to run for JT. Uh, 25, White has the other hit of the game. On the bases running, courtesy running for JT Bell is number 19, Andrew Bloom. Andrew got a lead. Cameron takes one down and in that not a first pitch strike you want to swing at you want that call to strike so Cameron settles in hits a pop up on the infield just missed it shortstop makes a nice play so that retires Cameron at the plate now for the Hornets number one Nathan Swihart center fielder made two nice plays the last inning to get him out very tough part of the day to see the ball in there in the outfield folks this backdrop Nathan takes a nice cut at one no balls one strike 
Nathan's up there to show some power. He's not up there just to show a base hit. So here on the mound, one out. Runners on first for Hancock County. We need to scratch one across. Uh, and now Nathan going to lay one down third baseline. And I believe if it gets down fair, he beats it out because Dole wasn't even on the move. Anyway, no balls, two strikes. Swahart at the plate with a runner on first, Andrew Bloom. Andrew's got a decent lead there. Stretching it out a little bit. Back. He gets back in. That might be... Uh, not sure what the umpire saw there because Bloom's laying on the bag and the tag goes down on him. So we're going to give that to an E black. Umpires are wearing black tonight. Now we just struck out. So for the Hornets in the bottom of the fourth, they score no runs on no hits, leave no man on. Or one hit, I'm sorry. JT Bell's two for two for the night. Folks, this is Rob McCormick with the Third Region Sports Network. And uh, we'll be back with you. Welcome back to Tommy Cam Field, and we got to find something to smile and laugh about tonight, folks, because, uh, you know, sometimes you got to be bluntly honest like Coach Pate used to be, and it's not been a very great night for the Hornets. They've uh, kicked it around a little bit. Uh, senior highs put nine runs on the board on six errors, and really, in all honesty, the game should be about a 3-0 ball game. But anyway, J.T. Bell set us back in on the hill. Not sure who's at the plate, but he hits one deep to right field. And I tell you what, you don't see very many hit over that fence. But that young man, number six, uh, Isaac Humphrey, he, he yanks one out about 340 in right field and uh we definitely didn't need that that gives them the 10 runs so the pressure's on us we need to step back in and uh have some defense here so at the plate now is a three-hole hitter or two-hole hitter i'm sorry hair the pitcher i'm sure he's looking to tack one or two on just for safety precautions but um, there's a pop up and I'm not sure I think it gets out of play back behind the plate got a little drift blowing in not much you sure couldn't tell it on the last ball hit by Humphreys he hit that ball well got all over the top of it so uh Anyway, at the plate now, Hare with no balls, one strike, no outs. So, uh, JT settles in, no balls, one strike. One ball, one strike. I'd say the umpire is going to expand the zone right here a little bit. If I am, I'm, I'm, I'm going to expand it some. 
And this young man just shanked one foul, but if he'd have kept it fair, it would have been about 320, and that would have got out over our left field fence. So anyway, one ball, two strikes, just the long strikes, all that is, and JT sort of breathes a sigh of relief there. I believe I'm going to throw the duck right here. We're playing deuces wild tonight, and there it is. And now he throws a fastball down and out and takes count 2-2. Two, two. The game's changed over the years quite a bit, folks. Uh, there's one he gets on top of. Axton plays back. Ball got on top of him. Singleton gets it in. So Hare on first with no outs. Coming to the plate now, McAllister for senior high. Running for senior high is number three, Brown, I believe. So with a runner on first, no outs, senior high up 10-0. And... Um, not a real good situation for the Hornets to be in, but I have seen stranger things happen in baseball. JT throws a nice pitch there down on the outer third for strike one. No outs for the Red Devils. Red Devils came to swing the sticks tonight, though, folks. Takes that ball in, and he thought it was going to stay in, come off his hip. Ball moved a little bit, so... Anyway, one ball, one strike, no outs. Runner on first for senior high. J.T. Bell out of the stretch. And I tell you what, these young men handle the bat pretty well. Wyatt Baker picks it up. Runners on first and second. Uh, Dole coming to the plate. and I tell you, Dole's got potential hitting one about 340 also. Uh, I hope JT keeps it down. So anyway, with Dole to plate, runners on first and second, no outs. Bright spot of the game, folks, is the Hornets did go one, two, three in the top of the fourth. Hare did make, or I'm sorry, Dole did make an attempt to go. No balls, one strike. Runners on first and second, no outs. And power hitting dull at the plate. So, and I believe that's the one the young man wanted. The ball was about chest high, and I think Dole wanted to unleash on one. So, no balls, two strikes. Be a good spot to get a strikeout right here. JT delivers outside, one ball, two strikes. Dull settles in. Fouls it straight back. He had really shortened up on that swing there. I don't know if he just wanted to foul it back or what he was doing, but... Uh, Still one ball, two strikes. Another back foul. Hornets need to find an out here. Um, JT working out of the stretch. Delivers. Down and out, two balls, two strikes. I know I'm supposed to be keeping up with that on this scoreboard on this screen, but a little difficult doing that tonight, folks. I'm sorry. 2-2. Two, two. JT gets in on his hands, and that ball is playable. But gets down foul. So Doyle doing a nice job at the plate. I think he's at about seven pitches on his pitch count.
keeps fouling the ball off. He may be looking for the one he wants. Anyway, JT delivers. Dole fouls another one off. We bet it's going to hit right behind us up here in the score booth. So, score 10 nothing, Red Devils. Runners on first and second. Dole's had a good at bat. He works the count to full. And he's at nine pitches on this at bat. So full count on Dole with runs on first and second and no outs. Dole settles in and he hits the ball hard. BP going to turn two here possibly. Dole shows speed coming down the line. So anyway, they got the lead run at second, but they did move the runner from second to third. I know that really didn't make a lot of sense, folks. I'm sorry. But now with runners on the corners with one out, number 25 is up. Belcher. And really one through nine in this lineup has swung the bat pretty decent. Been pretty disciplined at the plate. Dole did just hit into the fielder's choice, but he hit the ball hard the second. So Belcher at the plate, ball down. So with one out, one ball, no strikes on Belcher at the plate. JT Bell working out of the stretch. Wanting to keep Dole at first. Belcher takes a cut at one. It gets up into the stands, and everybody's running and jogging and looking and Ball heats the concrete, so there's a souvenir for one of the little, little leaguers tonight. So one ball, one strike, one out. Belcher at the plate with runners on the corner. JT on the bump. Well, I'm not sure that that wasn't the same play as Wall ago and he called the guy out, so... Anyway, JT working out of the stretch, throws to the plate, throws a nice curveball that just stays up. JT's pitch count's gotten up there pretty good at this point, but I'd say his arm's in pretty good shape, can handle that. So score 10-0 right now, senior high, sees one out. Cratcher decides he's going to throw down to first. Makes a nice throw, but Dole makes it back, two balls Three balls, one strike. So 3-1 with Belcher at the plate. JT working out of the stretch. Belcher draws a walk. Nice at bat. Coach Mosby calls timeout. He's going to go out and have a little talk with his pitcher. Um, not sure where you turn to now. Looks like he's going after the ball, though. So, folks, looks like coming to the hill will be number 11. Well, it's not sure who it's going to be. He's bringing in number four, White Baker, from right field, I believe. Uh... Haven't seen Baker throw this year, but I'm not saying that he can't. Uh, saw him throw when he was a little bit younger. So, folks, we're going to take a little break here while Wyatt warms up. This is Rob McCormick with Third Region Sports Network. We'll be back shortly.
Folks, welcome back to Tommy County Field. Number four, White Baker on the hill now for Hancock County. Bases juiced with one out. Uh, I don't know why it's been in this situation before, but you never know. I mean, young man may be able to step right up here and shut him down one, two, three. Or one, two, anyway. We just need two outs. Get a ground ball up the middle. Hornets are sort of camped out out at second base. Not sure which one of them's going to. Oh, there's Tanner out there. I see him. He's going to head back towards left. And White's going to short. BP at second. Cameron White on first, and J.T. Bell goes to third. So anyway, uh, Baker comes to the plate, or to the mound, with bases loaded. He's thrown out of the windup. Higgs at the plate. Higgs has driven one, I know, down the right field line. Hit a shot. I believe he's two for two. I think, I think White, he'll settle in here in a minute. Uh, just need to play defense behind him. Nice pitch right there by Wyatt Baker. Guy swings right through it. Hig, so Baker one ball, one strike, one out. Seeing the hill for the first time that I've seen, I know. Now, I may be mistaken at the varsity level, but uh, White well, throws a nice one and gets a pop up, pop foul. So he's got the ball, one ball, two strikes. Higgs at the plate. Baker delivers. Throws his hook and just misses. I don't know. I'd, uh, we're getting some wows and news up here. Nice pitch right there. Baker strikes him out. You never know, folks. White comes in and, and strikes out Higgs, and I think Higgs was two for three before that so at the plate now for senior high number four uh, ball down and out trying to get a name here on number four Epperson so one ball no strikes two outs Baker comes in and shuts down Higgs Epperson at the plate Baker throws a nice pitch right there for a strike Young man doesn't seem to be too bothered out there. He says, you know, I'm just going to rear back and let her go. So Baker up on the hill. Let's it go. Epperson hits ball hard. BP made a nice play getting to that ball. Coming to the plate now for senior high, number 11, French. So in the top of the fifth, senior high has put two on the board. Hornet's going to have to battle and get two on the board in the bottom of the fifth as of now. So with two outs, French at the plate, Baker on the hill. And French drills one into right. And uh, that's going to score two for sure. And three. And French is going three on the triple. I give French credit. Hit that ball very well on the nose. Uh, newbie back in right field now. So, Red Devils clear the bags with a triple by French at the plate now. Number 22, Hagen for senior high. Wyatt's still working out of the wind-up. Ball up. Score 14-0, senior high right now in the top of the fifth. 
Hornets bats are really going to have to come alive if they're going to do anything to get into this, to get back into this game. Nice pitch right there by Baker for a strike. Count one ball, one strike, two outs. White Baker on the hill. He delivers. Ground ball hit the third. JT Bell comes up with it, throws across, gets out. Nice play by J.T. Bell. So, folks, going into the bottom of the fifth, the Hornets got to put five across to stay in this game. We're going to take a short break and uh, recognize our sponsors for the Third Region Sports Network. We'll be right back with you. Welcome back to Tommy County Field, folks, where Tanner Singleton, or I'm sorry, number 23, Parker Newby's coming to the plate. Oh, they got out of order a little bit. 22 Cratchers coming to the plate. So with Cratcher at the plate, Hornets got to scratch five across to keep this game alive. Uh, we're capable of doing that. Cratcher takes a hack at one down. Sometimes, folks, the game of baseball takes funny hops and sort of like life in general. You get some good hops and bad hops. And uh, the Horns today have had some bad hops. No balls, two strikes on Cratcher at the plate. Hare still throwing for senior high. Throws the ball down. Looks like to me he's gotten a little bit stronger through the game. So 22 Cratcher to play. One ball, two strikes. Ball hit to short. Shortstop does a nice job fielding it. Nice job taking it across the field. So one out. Coming to the plate now, number 23, Parker Newby, who started the game on the hill. And J.T. Bell came in for him. And then when they made the substitution to bring White Baker in, um, the only move they could make was in the right. So Newby swings at the first pitch, hits it high fly ball to center. So... White Baker coming to the plate for the Hornets. Needs to get something going here with two outs in the bottom of the fifth to scratch five runs across. Folks, stranger things have happened. My Red Sox won a World Series down three games to nothing a few years ago, and they were in a situation where they were down facing one of the best pitchers, best closers around. So, uh, stranger things can happen. One ball, one strike, two outs. White Baker at the plate. Hair on the hill. White takes strike for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Kids seem to be uh, dead and that's a ball game folks white baker swings through the ball strike three this is rob mccormick we've had a fun day at ballpark any day is a good day at the ballpark but some days are better than others 
But uh, Hornets go down tonight, 14-0 against Senior High, and uh, just never could really get going. This is Rob McCormick signing off for the Third Region Sports Network.